safety first when doing all this work around electricity. Well, is 15 and 13. So if I look over here, 15 and 13 are off. You've got a well and your house is up to code. Most likely you're gonna have a disconnect, which is one of these things. So your disconnect sits in here like this. What you wanna do is two fingers on it, pull it out, take it and set it up here. That's gonna completely cut your... As we go back to the channel, I'm gonna show you how to replace one of these well pressure switches. Usually they're made by square D. Pull the cover off by loosening up this little nut and it's gonna expose your live circuit. 220 volts, so absolutely make sure that you've turned off your breaker and you've pulled your disconnect. I'm not going to show you that for uh, liability purposes, but you need to ensure that it's not uh, live and uh, you guys do uh, need to make sure that you have a licensed electrician do this if you don't feel comfortable. I got a little tester here that I'm gonna use. I also have a voltmeter that I can use. And this is basically gonna tell me if these... Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace one of these well pressure switches. This happens to be a 6040 switch that has gone bad. And these come off. When you come out to your well, you're gonna look at this. When you loosen this little nut up, this will come off. This is 220 volts, so you wanna make sure that you pull your disconnect out of your uh, breaker and you also shut the breakers off for your well. Have a licensed electrician perform this work if you do not feel comfortable working around electricity, so I'll put that disclaimer out here. But once you've ensured that the lines are not live, I have a multimeter, I also have this tester, which is a very good um, for me to test circuits, but I'll, I just know that there, there's no power here. You're gonna go ahead and take that off and take a picture of where your wires are on here and match them up to your new pressure switch here. And the way you remove it is you undo the conduit on this side, you undo the conduit on this side, and there's a little threaded portion down here that's gonna thread off of this nipple. So usually hold this with a channel lock and thread this off. You do need to make sure that your well has no pressure in it. So you do need to drain your tank, which is here by opening up a tap and letting it run out. Mine happens to have a pressure uh, gauge on here, so I know that there is no pressure sitting in this line, so this doesn't spray me in the face when I loosen it off. So let me get this loose. Got my electrical connections taken off of here, and I'm unthreading this, and the nipple's coming out of the receiving pipe, which is fine. And that's the switch removed. So I'm gonna throw this on my vise, or you can hold onto it really good and try to loosen this nipple out, or you can buy yourself a new little metal nipple to go in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to reuse mine and get some Teflon tape, some sealant tape, or you can use uh, sealant paste, either either one. Let's get this thing out. Okay, ready. so I have this in my vise, got some channel locks, and with any luck, without damaging the threads, I'm gonna grab just the portion that's not threaded. I'm gonna thread this out of here with two hands, just like that. See, I'm grabbing right where the threads are not, and it twists right out. This is what it looks like out. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on it. I've got my new switch here and Teflon tape on both sides. Go ahead and put it in here. Make sure you thread your Teflon tape to where when you tighten it down, it doesn't wanna unwind it off. If that makes any sense. Now I got the Teflon tape installed here and the nipple put into the new switch. I'm gonna go ahead and start threading this thing in. And be very careful not to cross thread these. Don't ask me how I know should spin nice and free, just like that. And you'll notice that the Teflon tape's not pulling off, which is what you want. So two schools of thought on this. It's PVC pipe, which is plastic, and plastic breaks. You got a pretty good grip on this thing as long as you tightened your little metal nipple into the bottom of the nut, or bottom of the housing. I always do these finger tight and straight, so this is getting pretty snug. I'll go around the moon one more time here. There we are, just like that. Okay, so I have all my connections remade. I don't like this neutral setup here, so I am gonna rewire this off camera. I'm gonna put a, um, a better connection here to the body of this. Don't leave stuff like this here. I don't even know why I'm putting this in the video, but I guess time but make sure all the connections are nice and tight. Everything is nice and clean. Everything looks good and take a picture of it and save it in your phone and then get the cover, install it back on. I'm just gonna, I just reuse my old one for now for the video. Drop this thing back on and tighten it up. And then you can go ahead and 
once you're all clear and everything is out of the way, you can go ahead and fire it up and see if your well works. And if you did it right, your well should be pressurizing with pressure. So pat yourself on the back, you just replaced your well pump switch. Always consult an electrician if you guys don't feel comfortable. Thanks for watching. Later.